Alright, what's going on everybody? Will S Gaming here. We are back again with another Division 2 video. Uh, in this video, guys, we're going to be going over, I guess, everything you need to do to prepare for the raid. Everything we know about the raid, which is obviously going to help you. And yeah, if you haven't done so already, guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I post daily looter shooter videos, Division, Borderlands, Destiny, all that great stuff. So definitely consider subscribing to the channel for your daily dose of that loot and some shooting. So yeah. Uh, in this video, I wanted to basically just compile, I guess, um, everything we know about the raid and obviously what could help you uh, prepare for the raid. I guess it's going to be like five tips, I guess. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video. Um, but yeah, everything we know about the raid right now comes from leaks mainly. Um, the people who have leaked this stuff obviously um, have got stuff like the nemesis, like the perks and stuff like that. So they are legit. Um, I did cover this in another video, but before I go over... Um, the stuff about the raid. I want to tell you guys what you can do to prepare. Um, so definitely drop a like on this video, guys. Let's try and get this video to 2,000 likes. That would be awesome. Um, your support means the world. And I appreciate everybody on the channel leaving all the comments, the likes. You guys are awesome. Uh, but yeah, I guess the first thing you want to do is have a build set. I know the meta changes in Division. Like, literally it changes like that. The next day, the meta could be SMGs. The next day, it could be like rifles. Um, but what you don't want to be is stuck with one build. You don't want to be stuck with one AR build. You don't want to be stuck with one rifle build. Um, give yourself some options and obviously make sure you make um, a multiple variety of builds. I don't know if you guys have played uh, raids in other games. It's always good to be like a have a different class on the side. Just in case you need like a demolitionist, you need a survivalist. The first thing I would recommend is maxing out all of your specialization trees. I know most of you... 80% of you are probably only stuck on one tree and you haven't maxed all of these out Literally just spend the time and max these out because if you're that one guy in the raid group that doesn't have their demolitionist Maxed out and you need like eight demolitionists for like one room. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm not sure how massive we're gonna structure the raids. but if you need like eight grenade launchers and one dude doesn't have it um, it's obviously going to slow you down and make the raid a ton more harder. And I'm not saying that's what you're going to need, but if it is the case where you need to nuke something down with like eight grenade launchers, um, it may be worth maxing out your specialization trees. Now, um, obviously there's going to be rooms in the raid. Um, there's going to be different encounters, different things you need to do. Um, some things may require you to split off into two teams. Obviously, some builds are going to work better than others, uh, but it all depends on the scenario. So what you want to do is have a build... Uh, that's gonna work in I guess all scenarios. I'm using a rifle build. I know this is probably gonna drastically change uh, But I think this is pretty decent. Um, I've obviously got the nemesis There's a crap ton of headshot damage didn't get the best DPS roll. I'm probably gonna craft another one soon And I'm using the military MK17 Now this is a good medium to long range build up close eh, It could be a bit better if I was using like an assault rifle or an SMG uh, but like I said, you don't want to be stuck to one build. I'm not saying you should use my build, but if you can find a build that's extremely good for like an all-round, it would be super good. Now, skill builds with like shields and stuff, honestly, I don't think they're going to work in the raid. Um, it's an eight-player activity, so it's going to scale to eight people. You really think like uh, an elite shooting at you, you're going to be able to tank it. Honestly, I think it's just going to one-tap you. So if you bring a riot shield into the raid... Um, I pray for you and hopefully it doesn't go too bad. So yeah, let's go over the stuff I guess we know about the raid. Um, so obviously the first encounter is survive the assault on the bridge. Now I think there was like an achievement that you get for doing this um, under an hour. So this is going to be a freaking onslaught attack. So <laughs> yeah, it's going to last a while. So it may require you to hold like a position, uh, defend a certain area like waves of enemies for so long. Uh, but if there's an achievement for doing it in less than an hour, this raid is going to be massive. Um, but what I'm thinking is, there's going to be like three encounters. Maybe four, maybe five. I have no idea how long it's going to be. So the first encounter is obviously going to be that bridge. That's going to be the first encounter. Then the second one is probably going to be in some sort of uh, stronghold area, I'm assuming. Um, the third one, probably another room. The fourth one is probably going to be like the boss room. Uh, probably structured a bit longer than a stronghold, just harder, I guess, encounters. Um, so we've got find the stolen GPS coordinates, protect the name agent on your team, confirm the kill of the second hand lieutenant, rendezvous with your team, survive the blackout attack, 
find the activation key, extract your team to safety, split teams and flank the target. So there we go. But we're splitting up. Uh, we're pretty much splitting into two teams. Stop the convoy from leaving the runway and take out the bombarders from high ground. Now that's pretty much all of the stuff we know about the raid or the, I guess, objectives in the raid. Sounds a bit more than like four or five encounters like I mentioned before, but this could be split up. So you could have like two or three objectives in one room and then three for the next room and then three for the next room. But the number one tip I can give guys is make sure your build is optimized. Obviously make sure you've got everything recalibrated like you want. I, like I said, I know this is probably the worst time to be making builds right now. Um, honestly, I would wait for the title three update. Uh, find a build that's meta and obviously is hits extremely hard. I'm definitely going to be making a ton more build videos in the future when that update finally goes live. So we can actually find out what does damage because right now the game's all over the place. It's extremely hard to make a build right now. Um, not knowing if it's going to be nerfed in like the next week, which is why I don't want to make any build videos right now. Another tip I would recommend guys is just literally complete everything on the map. I have got a very bad habit of just not completing stuff like side missions. Uh, you want to go around, just collect all the attachments, collect all the blueprints. Um, you're definitely going to need them. I'm missing a ton myself. I am guilty of this. So collect everything there is to collect. Um, get all the weapons there is to get. And obviously when we do get that uh, title update 3 drop and we are getting those 515 pieces of gear, try and cap out your character to get 515 gear score. Um, I know gear score doesn't really matter, but the more armor you can have on your character, the better. And it's going to help you survive just that tiny bit longer than someone who's like 480 like me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little informative video, I guess, preparing you for the Dark Hours 8 player raid. Um, I might stream our raid attempt. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know. Um, I'll probably do like guides and stuff when the raid is like officially out. So um, for the encounters and stuff like I do at Destiny in the raid, um, I'll definitely be covering it in the Division 2. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely drop a like. And like I said, let's try and get this video to 2000 likes. Thank you for all the support on my videos lately guys you guys have been awesome um, i'm starting to upload a different um different types of games like borderlands um division obviously i want to try and go back to destiny as well when the next uh update comes out so if you do if you are a division subscriber and you obviously see different games on the channel don't take it as i'm quitting the division i'm quitting that game um you gotta remember that this is a looter shooter channel not just exclusive to the division 2 we cover all types of different games and for those of you who are tuned in regardless of what game i post i appreciate you and you are freaking awesome um but once again guys i appreciate all of you and thank you for all the support on my channel i will see you in my next video this has been willis gaming and peace